Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get your crosshairs populating in on screen using Bodicera 35 and the Sindin Light Gun. So this isn't going to work for every single collection available that has light gun games, but it will at least work for Sega Dreamcast as well as Sega Saturn. So I'm gonna show you guys this process. Let's dive into it. All right, so I've just loaded up Bodicera here. I have my Sindin Light Gun plugged in. So when we go into our collection, I'm gonna be demoing Sega Saturn first. When we go into our collection, we're gonna go over to a light gun game. So here I have Virtual Cop 2 pulled up. I'm going to hold down the button I would use to make my selection on here. So if I was on a PlayStation style controller, it would be my X button. I'm on an Xbox One style controller. So for me, it's the A button. So I'm just gonna simply hold that down on my gamepad controller. That's gonna pull up this menu right here. We're gonna navigate down to options towards the bottom and we're gonna select advanced game options here. This is gonna open up all of our different options for this specific title. So if we scroll all the way down to the last section, you're gonna notice that it says light gun here. And it's gonna automatically be set to auto for use light guns. So that means if you have a send in light gun, as soon as you plug it in, that's what you're going to be controlling the game with. It overrides any other controllers that are currently plugged in. So in this case, I have this Xbox One style controller here. Um, so we're going to go down to this second option here, which says show light gun crosshairs. Now, not every single game or game collection is going to offer this, but Sega Saturn does, Sega Dreamcast does as well. So all we have to do here is select this option and we can set this one of four different ways. We can go with auto here, which is going to give us, uh, I think by default, it's going to be the cross or in some cases it's nothing at all. So we're just aiming it based on what we think it's going to um, kind of populate in as. Um, if we pull the trigger though, you'll see like the bullet ripple effect and you can use that to kind of aim, but it's not really effective. So we could change it to either the cross dot or just disable it altogether. So I'm going to actually make it the dot here. I've used the cross, um, and it's a little bit thin in Sega Saturn. So I'm going to try it with the dot here and that is all we have to do here. We'll just back out and now we'll launch this game. So I'm going to grab my send in light gun. And we'll let this game load up. I should have did it in full screen here. I have it in that 4-3 um, aspect ratio with the bezels, but it's going to work all the same. I just like that broader 16-9 uh, aspect ratio for light gun games. So you can see on screen, I'm already tracking. The dot's already populated in. Right now I have it right there dead center on the... Um, uh, target there in the O. So I'm going to just advance into this game really quickly and show you guys exactly what the experience is like on here. Let's go. So it makes for just a smoother experience across the board here. All right, guys, you can see from this process, pretty straightforward and easy to add these uh, crosshair options on screen in your retro video games here on Bodicero 35. I imagine with future updates, we're probably gonna see this available on more collections. As of right now, the only thing I was able to use this on was Sega Saturn and Sega Dreamcast, but you may find that it does work with some other collections as well as time goes on. So if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. Be sure to also leave a thumbs up on the video if you found this information helpful. And of course, subscribe to the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.